Hello everyone. Welcome you all in this session of English speaking skills. I'm Kavita Sabrawal, English mistress, Government Senior Secondary School for Boys, Raho, SBS Nagar. Students, how do we all communicate? Yes, it's with the help of a language. All human beings communicate with one another with the help of one or the other language. Without language, it's difficult for us to communicate. So language is a tool to share emotions, thoughts, feelings and experiences. Language is a tool for communication, yes. And communication takes place where there is speech. Without speech, we cannot communicate with one another. Can we? No. Hence the importance of speaking skills is enormous for the learners of any language. Without speech, the language is merely a script. And to talk of speaking English, it allows us to actually broaden our world. Education is very important, no doubt, to improve yourself. There's no doubt in it. But learning English also improves the quality of life. English is the universal and global language. So it plays a very important role in our life nowadays. People who speak English fluently have more job opportunities, more business, more learning. Today is the world of internet students and English is the language of the internet. Students, English is the window to the world. So, when it's so important, then why not develop speaking skill in English? Students' English is based on a simple alphabet and it's fairly quick and easy to learn as compared to other languages. Speaking English is not only useful, it gives you a lot of satisfaction and making progress feels great, right? Students, you will enjoy learning English if you remember that every hour you spend gets you closer to perfection. You can easily learn to speak English. Now, I'm going to give you some tips on improving your English speaking skills. To start with, first and foremost, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Yes, you should never be afraid of the mistakes. Your goal is to deliver a message, not perfect grammar. Keep this thing in your mind. Even the native English speakers, they make mistakes. Even we make mistakes while talking in mother tongue, Punjabi. We make mistakes, but we never bother. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Coming to the second point, that is, practice, practice and practice. Practice makes perfect. Constantly look for the opportunities to talk in English. You can form groups in the class. Yes, some of the friends, you can uh, make groups and then 
talk on some topics in English. This will improve your speaking skills. Then is listen. Listening. Listening improves speaking. The more you hear, the easier it will be for you to use new key expressions and words in an English conversation. You should listen to the news in English. It will enhance your speaking skill. It will improve your vocabulary and your pronunciation. So try to listen to the audios in English and it will improve, I'm sure it will improve your speaking skills also. The next one is think in English. Yes, seems funny, but this is the most effective way. Try to think in English. It's going to be difficult at first at an initial stage, but after some time you will learn how to switch between your first language and English. You'll feel comfortable later on and it will become a habit. Your thinking will be conditioned. So think in English. Coming to the next, talk to yourself. Yes, I'm repeating, talk to yourself. It will again look funny to you, but by practicing a few minutes in a day in front of the mirror, you will learn when and how to use different expressions. This will make you confident also. So you must talk to yourself in English. You would be able to use your speaking skill with confidence. Keep in mind you are your best friend. Then is improve your vocabulary. Yes, try to improve your vocabulary. Vocabulary is all the words of a language both which are understood and used. For good and proper speaking rich vocabulary is a must. It's the language used by the doctors, teachers, drivers, students, then uh, maybe uh, painters, then there may be drivers and the list goes on. So try to learn new words. Learn the jargons. Jargon, yes. These are the special words or expressions used by a profession or a group that may be scientific, legal or medical like this these specific groups. Then students, you must know some of the important aspects of speaking skills. These are on which our speaking depends. We must keep in mind, right? We must keep in mind uh, these uh, while speaking. So when we are learning and when we are speaking in English, trying to learn to speak in English, we must know that speaking is situational. Yes, speaking is situational. Every day or I should say every minute the situation changes. Moreover, it depends upon person to person. Is it a formal talk or informal talk? Suppose when you are talking to a friend, the situation is different. You have informal talk like hello, 
how are you doing what's up have you seen the movie and so on right so there is no formality but when you are talking to your teacher you have formal talk over there like good morning or good afternoon teacher please explain me the sum excuse me teacher i need your help so there is change in the way of talking it depends upon person to person and whether you are talking to your friend or an elder or someone younger or to your relative or stranger so you have to keep in mind everything it depends upon the situation your speaking skill it depends upon the situation and it depends upon person to person it changes from person to person next students speaking depends upon time also yes time i give you one simplest example like in a greetings in the morning when you meet someone you say how do you greet okay you tell me when you uh, meet someone in the morning how do you greet that person yes you say good morning then during afternoon you would say good afternoon then during evening you would say good evening and when it's time going to bed you'll say good night so did you see speaking depends upon time and it also depends upon the tone yes the tone and expressions how you talk the way you talk what's your tone what's your body language what's your face expression like if you have to thank someone for the favor he or she has done you would say thank you for the help oh thank you for your help just look at the difference in the tone and my face expressions i'm repeating just watch it thank you for your help thank you for your help right so you must have understood which one is better so that means our speaking skills depend upon the tone and expression also then when you speak your voice should be audible right it means that there should be clarity of words you should not be too fast your each and every word should be clear to the listener okay so students how can we learn the speaking skill how can you learn to speak english in the initial stages you will have to learn some sentences yes you will have to learn you must have some sentences to speak some key sentences and when you keep using these sentences then these become a part of your personality like i'll give you the example good morning now you have grown up now you don't have to think over to say good morning when you meet someone it comes out naturally you say good morning but in the initial stages 
you were made to learn it maybe by your teachers or parents so students keep in mind that you should be aware of the thing purpose and place for speaking skill will be according to it speaking skill depends upon thing purpose and place suppose you go to a bank to open your account right you go to a bank to open your account the place here is bank and the purpose is to open the account so here the vocabulary used by you will be account account may be saving account current account passbook self attestation nominee like such words would be used by you when you are in a bank so that's the specific related to bank you call the such words as jargon now suppose you go to a chemist shop to buy some medicine there the place is chemist shop and the purpose is to buy the medicines prescribed by the doctor so here your vocabulary would be different right your vocabulary would be different in a chemist shop as compared to a bank now we'll have some examples of sentences for communication which we use in our day to day conversations students if somebody ask you who are you who are you then your answer can be i am a student because you are a student or you can say i am ravi or sheena that means you have to give your name so both ways it would be correct i am a student or i am ravi or sheena or harpreet and whatsoever your name is right next if somebody asks you what's your hobby students take care here you have to be careful never try to say something which you don't know about for example just to impress many times the students do it yes just to impress if you say reading books then if the person further ask you okay tell me which book you have read recently then it's going to be a problem for you yeah so speak the truth whatsoever you have the hobby it may be cooking or gardening or listening to music or stamp collection coin collection whatsoever answer that only right so speak the truth over there then coming to the next question which is mostly asked by the students is what's your aim or what's your dream in life students be very clear about your aim right don't try to beat about the bush so you may answer my aim is to become a teacher or my aim is to become a carpenter or my aim is to become a barber right like this you have to answer never say i want to be a good human being and all that no you have to be specific in your answer then the next important question is about your qualification 
when you are asked about your qualification most of you get confused yes i've seen many students they get confused because you are still students and studying so here i'll tell you i'll suggest you what to do how to answer suppose you are in 9th class you will answer right now i am in 9th class before that i have done 8th and suppose if now you are in 10th class you will answer right now i am in 10th class before that i have done 9th students the preferable way is to start from the present and go to the past right keep in your mind from present to past don't say i have done 9th now i am in 10th or i have uh, done 8th now i am in 10th no try to move from present to past students many times you are asked to introduce yourselves that is to speak something about yourself hey you will tell your name your profession your qualification something about your family your parents your siblings siblings means your brothers and sisters then you will tell about the area you live in your hobbies and interests and your aim in life students next two questions which confuse you are many times that's how are you and how old are you yes the answer to the first question how are you should be i'm fine thank you and in the second question how old are you they're asking about your age so your answer should be like this i am 15 years old or i am 17 years old like whatsoever age you are having so there's difference in these coming to the next question do you have any siblings if you don't have any brother or sister you will answer i don't have any siblings and you have brothers or sisters your answer would be i have one brother and one sister and it may be according to your real siblings so again i am repeating that your communication your speaking skills your conversation students it all depends upon the situation it depends upon person and it changes from person to person we can't have any one definite answer for it so our next question is do you have any dream do you have any dream students earlier we have discussed about what is your aim or what is your dream now i am asking do you have any dream so this is also the same just asked in a different way so your answer should be according to the question what your answer should be i have a dream to become a teacher please don't finish your answer in just yes or no don't say yes or no the person wants to know 
about your dream, your aim. Try to understand the gist of the question. Yes. And students, one more very important thing that you must keep in your mind while speaking is that speak only that much that you are asked about. Please note it down in your minds. Speak only that much that you are asked about. Okay, now let's move to the other general conversations that you have mostly come across and try to understand. How will you speak, right? If you are asked, how is the weather today? Your answer may be, it's very hot today or it's very cold today or it's very pleasant. Next, where is your notebook? Your answer should be, it's in my bag or it is with my friend. Next, why have you not done your homework? Your answer can be, I could not complete as I was ill. Again, it depends upon the person, upon the student. Why have you not brought your textbook? Answer, sorry teacher, I forgot to bring my book. Have you solved the sum? Answer, yes, I have solved the sum. And if your answer is a no, you'll say, no, I have not solved the sum. Have you learned the lesson from this story? Your answer can be, yes, I have learned to be honest. Have you read the chapter at home? Yes, I have read the chapter at home. Are you feeling comfortable? And if you feel comfortable, you'll say, yes, I am feeling comfortable. And if it's a no, you'll say, no, I am not feeling comfortable. Are you feeling hungry? If your answer is a no, you'll say, no, I am not feeling hungry. And if it's a yes, you'll say, yes, I am feeling hungry. So student, as I told you, speaking is situational. It changes according to the situation. If the next question is, is the teacher present today? Your answer can be, yes, she is present. Or, no, she is on leave. What is today's homework? Today's homework is to revise the idioms. Or, today's homework is to revise the communication skills. Next, have you noted down the homework in your diary? Yes, I have noted down. Or, your answer can be, no. I have not noted down. Have you prepared for the test? Your answer can be, yes, I have prepared for the test. Or, no, I have not prepared for the test. Why do you want to sit in the front? If a teacher asks you, like, why do you want to sit in the front? Your answer can be, I could not see the blackboard properly from behind. Next, how much is it? Or, how much does it cost? In these both questions, they are asking about the cost of the thing. How much is it? Or, how much does it cost? 
So your answer can be according to the commodity. It costs only rupees 2000 or it costs only rupees 200 or rupees 100. So it depends. Next, have you ever visited a restaurant? If your answer is yes, you'll say yes, I have visited a restaurant with my family. And if it's no, you can just say no, I have never visited any restaurant. Have you ever been to a hill station? No, I have never visited any hill station. And if it's yes, you'll say, yes, I visited Shimla or Missouri during summer vacation. Again, you see, conversation totally depends upon the situation and it differs from person to person. Now, if I ask you, did you enjoy the activity today? Your answer will be, yes, I enjoyed a lot or no, I did not enjoy. How was your day? Your answer can be, it was really good or it was not good or it was great. So, you know, speaking depends upon Think, person, place, time and situation. Right? So students, now it's time to wind up. I'll just wind it up. We'll be revising what we have done. For developing the speaking skill in English, you must use Simple words in the initial efforts. Slowly move towards the simple sentences. Right? So first, simple words. Then move to simple sentences. And be confident. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Keep in mind that to err is human. So, try to think in English and speak in English. Yes, I'm repeating. Try to think in English, speak in English. Form groups to practice speaking English. Brainstorm for ideas. Talk in English with your friends. That's very important. Talk in English with your friends and with your family members. And the most important thing is don't feel shy to speak in English. Just speak in English. Practice, practice and practice. This is the only Mool Mantra. Practice, right? Practice makes a man perfect. This is the only Mool Mantra for developing the speaking skill in English. It's not difficult. So practice it, right? And you will be perfect in your speaking skill in English you will be fluent in speaking English. Thank you. Goodbye.